the ankles uh, beginning to tell after some 360 games. Melbourne come out with the ball. The hand pass then by Lovett across to Jarrett. Usually a very good disposer of the ball. Melbourne ball through Wilson. Wilson will look for the pass. It's an excellent pass. Here's the chance. The loose man coming through is Cole. Over Cole with a long hand pass to Johnny Fidge. Melbourne's second goal on the board. Eight minutes into the quarter. Melbourne, two goals, one, 13. Fitzroy yet to score. And Laurie, a very poor start for Fitzroy. Very poor. Excellent play by uh, Brian Wilson then to set up the play. Excellent disposal. And a handball over the top and easy goal by Fidge straight into the goal square and through. Makes it hard for defenders when the ball comes down so easily. Uh, you've got a prop, you're not too sure whether you go out and meet the opponent or stay with your own opponent and uh, it's dispiriting. Good start by Melbourne. Uh, be a good game. Out to the wing position. Fitzroy in the back position and that's kicked off the ground. Melbourne into attack. They've been into attack for most of the quarter and are looking quite good. The push going against little Mork be taken by Greg Healy. Healy's drop punt. Fidge in front. Good mark, John Good mark. Fidge. And uh, Pert and Lyon having a few words. Graham Hinchin coming in there to try and calm things down. And so too is Alan Jarrett. Silly play then. The Melbourne players should cool down if they want to keep hold of that football. Yeah, I'm not too sure what happened then. Uh, the mark was taken. Uh, only first couple of minutes of the game, I guess the guys are a little bit tense, trying to uh, assert their superiority. Good mark though, nevertheless. Is Always handy to be in that front position, isn't it? Good strong mark, well in front, and uh, held his position very strongly. John Fidge comes in from about 35 to 40 metres out. He's already kicked one. Mark that down as two. Melbourne kicked their third. They move to 3-1-19. Fitzroy one behind. Three goals the difference. 12 minutes in, and the... Uh, the boy's still having the odd word to say. Has the ball taken away? Oh, nasty looking piece of play that. Seem to be able to do it these days. Over to Nigel Cole. He's got pace, the former Geelong player on the left foot. Looking for hit, uh, Fidge, I should say. And uh, Fidge backs up. Well, here's the chance. He lines up, sends it through. That's his third. Melbourne on fire. They're 6 2, 38. Fitzroy one behind. We've been playing 21 minutes. Good piece of play there by Fidge and a good piece of play by, by Cole. Sprinted around that flank looking for John Fidge. Couldn't quite hold it. He doubled back well, picked the ball up and just angled it through ever so nicely for his third goal in Melbourne's sixth. Drew's caught with the ball. Free kick go to Gary Lyon. Pretty straightforward that one. Yes, and 15-yard penalty kicked away by a Fitzroy player. Brings Gary Lyon uh, about 60 metres out from goal. Could well have been uh, another Give penalty. Him. Gary Lyon will go for the long kick. It's a lovely looking drop punt looking for John Fidge. He's got two opponents on him. And the umpire says yes, there'll be a free kick to John Fidge, who was nudged out. A technical one, but... Uh, yes, I think it, it was technical, Stephen. Uh, it was there, and uh, unfortunately, the umpire on the scene and... Uh, is elected to pay John Fidge a free kick well, John, right in front of goal. John Fidge kicked three goals in that first quarter uh, on a player of the calibre of Gary Pert. He's now got Michael Reeves, who's no slouch either. The kick through the middle. Melbourne's eighth goal. They move to 8-6. 54. Fitzroy, three goals to 20 on the Pro Football scoreboard here at VFL Park. John Fidge would be pleased with that performance. I think he's just come back from injury. Uh, a strong player. So he's standing his ground and uh, the Fitzroy players there having to try and move him. And uh, as we said, technical free kick. It was there and uh, he's converted. This is only his third game for the season. And uh, he's a raw bone type of player. He's got a good leap. He's got good hands. And uh, he gives them a bit of bite up forward. Yeah. Mitchell gives the ball back to Brian Wilson, former Brownlow medalist. He'll kick long or will he? He'll go wide find Stephen Newport who's kicked three goals. Newport looking for Fidge. Lovely pass too. Yes. Picked John Fidge out perfectly. And now John Fidge has the chance to kick his fifth goal. I think Fidge has been the key player to Melbourne today. He's kicked four goals and uh, passed superbly. Done some intelligent tap-ons and now has the chance to kick five goals. He's a matter of 40 metres out. Very deliberate as he lines up. Good-looking kick. The Melbourne players are happy. Five goals to John Fidge. 
Melbourne move into three figures. They're 16 9, 105. Fitzroy 9 5, 59. And there's the man. Good afternoon's work for John. Uh, coming back from injury and he's, he's battled hard all day, has done well and if he hasn't taken the marks, the, the ball has fallen to ground and been sharked effectively by the littler players of Melbourne and uh, the scores on the board. And to kick the goals on a player of the calibre of Gary Pert is no mean feat.